What's cracking guys? Welcome back to some more Star Swing Academy. <laughs> oh man, last time we finally got away from freaking Polly. That guy will not leave us alone. Not that I'm complaining really, but still, come on now. We're finally away. We're at the headmaster's office. We're gonna see her. So let's let's see what this woman is. All this build-up. I wanna see this girl already. She keeps fidgeting with every little detail on her uniform to make sure it's straight or proper. It's actually starting to get on my nerves. Oh, thank God. It's all right. But before I have a chance to cheer her out for it, a voice drifts through the door ahead of us. Oh, oh, a voice? Uh, do, do come in, Ty. Oh, oh okay, who, who's this? Oh, Ty does the exact opposite. Freezing in place like a deer in headlights. <laughs> oh, no, she's scared. Oh, God. My own attention turns to the door. Surprised to be found out so easily. But also having to hold back a chuckle at the headmaster's remark. Poor Ty, she can't seem to catch a break today. Oh no, you've been busted, girl. Oh no. Um, I prefer not to repeat myself. Oh no, it's all right. What is this? Oh, whoa, what? Hello there. Whoa, well there we go. Well, we just met uh, um a, a wonderful headmaster here. My God, this school is amazing. What are all these girls? Everything. They're all beautiful. I don't get this, but at the same time, I'm not complaining. All right, this is anyway. Uh, Ty can't get through the door fast enough. Barreling inside, she's already stammering and fighting her inability to rattle off a hundred excuses simultaneously. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's what I was picturing there, guys. All right, I don't understand most of what's coming out of her mouth. Nor do I think I should really try. Oh God, it's all right. Calm down, Ty. You'll be fine. She's abruptly silenced by the headmaster's raised hand. Oh. Please, take a seat, both of you. <laughs> oh, there you go, she's so nice. Oh, gosh. As I look around, I can't help but notice how huge Headmaster Solomon's, um, let's say office, yes, office is, um, yes, um, <laughs> the walls curving inward, yes, walls curve. Oh, God, this is not good on me, guys. <laughs> it were like a top half of an eggshell are lined with books that seem to have come from all over the world. Compared to the hallway outside, it's like walking into an auditorium built for one person. Yeah, this, this is actually pretty nice there, like all the statues and stuff going on there, and it's not bad. I quickly follow Ty to the headmaster's desk, sitting in one of two order, ornately decorated chairs in front of it. It's surprisingly comfortable. Oh yeah, when they're usually getting all you know, nice and fancy, that usually means they're kind of bad, but I guess this is the opposite, not bad. Alright, uh, I'm, I'm so, so sorry we're late, headmaster. Oh, we, we just got cut up there. <laughs> oh, I understand, Ty. I've told you before, Selena is fine. How long have we been talking? Oh, there we go. Oh, she seems nice and understanding. Oh, yes, Headmaster. Oh, jeez. I'm pretty sure I can hear the Headmaster sighing. Or maybe it seems that way from how her shoulders gently sagged. She then turns to look at me. Oh, oh, hey, what's up? Why are you looking at me like that? What's what's all this business about here? Oh, now she's smiling, okay? Uh, and you are Tom, correct? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, so I'm Tom or whatever you want me to be, girl. Uh, something tells me that I should probably be quaking in my boots like Ty. After all, Star Swirl is the most prestigious school around and Selena is at the top. Yeah, um, yeah, how should, how should I be, like, talking to this girl here? Uh, however, looking into her eyes, I can't help but feel... Comforted. Oh, comforted! Yeah, that's the word there, buddy! Yeah, <laughs> freaking Tom, that's our man! She gives off a kind of soothing vibe rather than a harsh one. She carries herself less like a principal and more like a mother. Is <laughs> is that how she's looking at me right now? Like like a mother? Alright, fine, bye. I'm cool with that. That's fine. Yeah, I, I transferred in with Ty. Oh, okay. Of course. Well, of course she knows that! She's the one who freaking admitted us in the first place! Come on, Tom, get on the ball there! With a silent grace, she raises from her chair and walks around to the front of the desk. She places her hand on it and for support before leaning up against it. Oh, okay, I thought she was already standing, but I guess not. Um, I'm familiar with Ty's reason for transferring, but I'm afraid I've not heard anything from you beyond the dry text of this application letter. I do not uh, mean to insult your writing. It was a fine letter. Uh, I, I just prefer to hear things in your own words. Oh, okay, well, that, that's cool. Um, uh, what, what, what are my reasons for transferring? As soothing as she came off, that definitely sent a shiver down my spine. Oh no, it's busted, guys. Out of all the things she could have asked, she starts with one question I, I don't have an answer to. Chances are, she's probably testing my qualifications to even be here, as I don't even have half of the qualifications Ty has. It's as if she, she, I can already see my chances of going here slipping away. Oh no, don't, don't be like that, Tom, you'll be fine. Oh well, 
I suppose he was nice while it lasted. He's already given up just like that? Come on, Tom. Uh, I pull out my collar lightly, uh, which seems to have suddenly become tight. To uh, tell you the truth, Headmaster, I, uh, I'm not 100% sure. I know I sounded more certain in the letter, but I was kind of hoping I would figure that out while I was here. It's not that I don't have ambition, it's more like I don't know where to aim it. Well, it's okay, man, it's fine, you'll figure it out as you're here. Well, it sounded like a good answer to me, though I could easily be mistaken. Putting my thoughts in a word, though, feels like I'm crashing into a rut. Like I'm stuck in a boat rushing down a turbulent river without a life jacket. Um, oh, well, you're certainly not alone in that, Tom. Sarsuela has helped many young men and women like yourself find their calling, and I'm sure I can start you down that path, though I cannot walk it for you. Oh, but it's okay, don't, don't worry about that. Um, I, as in Headmaster Solomon personally? Well, shit, whoa, man, we're getting a special treatment already. Or is that just how she refers to Sarsuela Academy? Maybe she meant to assure me, but I'm filled with more questions than answers. The master picks up some papers and looks through them quickly before turning to Sai. Oh, now, my faithful student, I see you've signed up for a full helping of courses in every subject matter. <laughs> oh, um, okay. Um, is that good or bad? Chemistry, physics, astronomy, three foreign language, ancient history, technology, and even philosophy. Holy shit, Ty, what are you doing, girl? Jeez. Uh, th this is far too much, even for you and quite unnecessary. Uh, do not worry about missing out. There are clubs that will continue to your education in subjects you do not choose, but attempting to specialize in everything is quite impractical and defeats the purpose of specialization. <laughs> oh my goodness, Tag, well, calm down, girl. That, that's not even t taking into consideration the fact that you two are seniors. There simply isn't enough time, Ty. Oh my goodness gracious. I will recommend two or three specialties at most. Um, I don't think Ty's going to be very happy with that. But what if I... Celia raises an eyebrow directly at Ty in a sort of... Do we really need you to have this discussion again, matter? Oh, she had this again? Oh my goodness, Ty, what are you doing? I'm gonna say immediately Ty falls silent. I wish I knew how to get Ty to calm down like that. Oh, but he only had the superpower. Oh gosh. All right, three subjects. Oh, there we go. Uh, think hard about which the subjects you want to specialize in. Uh, once you've decided, uh, changing will be difficult, so be sure to pick the classes you know and want to take. Oh, she's so kind of freaking Ty over here. Yes, Headmaster. Oh, Celia gently nods her head at Ty before turning to face me again. She looks through her papers again before addressing me. Thomas Daniel Stone. Oh, man, she gave me the full name. She, you know shit's up when they give you the full name. Shit is going down. Um, ugh. Nothing like being called your full name to make you feel like you've done something wrong. Yeah, there we go, Tom. He even knows what's up there. Uh, according to what you've told me, you're not entirely sure of what you want to do with your ambition. So I'm going to assume uh, you've no personal attachment to the clash's choice on your application, correct? Oh, okay, what are you going to choose for me then? I shrink a little in my chair and at being caught red-handed. I, I, I'd really only pick classes that seem to further my education in, general, in a general direction rather than anywhere specific. I might have picked classes Ty was going to be in as well. Oh, there we go. You must be with Ty there. I can get behind that. No problem, Ty. That's okay in my book. Well, that's all right. I'm sure you'll have a better idea of what you want after seeing some class demos. Oh, class demos? Really? Oh, all right. I'm not so sure about that. Uh, here at Star Swirl, there are compulsory classes and specialty classes. Oh, mandatory classes such as English and Math are stratified into standard and advanced curriculums. Oh, oh, okay. Specialty classes such as Chemistry or Art History do not have such uh, stratification levels, uh, but are demanding enough to m that most students would be adequately challenged. Oh, my god, okay, sure. Uh, Headmaster Solomon trades a quick glimpse at Ty, although uh, I don't think Ty would be very challenged at all there. Of course, it's up to you to decide what kind of field you want to enter. So I want you to think about that for now, alright? Pick which classes you think will fit you best, and we can set up your classes for you. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, she's pretty kind to me. Oh, my God. If you can't decide immediately, I will allow you to float between specialty classes throughout the next week so you can get an understanding of what each class is, is about. Uh, uh, however, I suggest you finalize your schedule as soon as possible. Yeah, it can be kind of bad. You don't want to get behind your work schedule there. Headmaster Salman looks at the calendar on her wall. 
Alright, that sounds fair. I hate being put on the spot. It's alright, Tom, it's alright, I'm sure you'll get somewhere. Uh, Celia turns back to uh, look at Ty. Uh, as for you, Ty, I know how hard it is for you to narrow down what you want to do from all the possibilities presented to you. So I want you to head to your dorm and think very carefully about the three subjects you're going to focus on. Oh, oh okay, so she said me Rafu. Well, what about me? Once you have them, bring them to me as soon as possible and I'm sure you're in the cl uh, correct classes, alright? Wow, wow, this is some great service we have at the academy. The freaking headmaster is this, this kind of all the students? Aw, oh, damn. Alright, well, yes, headmaster. Uh, good. I feel that we've covered all, all that we need for now. She turns to her desk and reaches over, grabbing two envelopes off her desk. Oh, okay. Turning back to us, she hands each each of us one. I can see my name written on, on the front as I nervously take it take it from the headmaster's hand. Oh damn, what, what are, what's inside the envelopes there? Inside of those are your introductory letters. Oh, well, I guess we're going to find out who is there. No attention there. Maps of the school's layout, uh, where your respective dormitories are, and a key to your rooms. Uh, I want you two to head uh, there and rest up for now. G get something to eat from the dining hall. Uh, you, you can use your student ID cards to pay at the register. Oh, well, they're like charge cards? Hot damn, that's pretty good. We'll meet you here again tomorrow at 10 a.m. to discuss enrollment. I, I assume that isn't early enough to ensure you two make it here on time. <laughs> oh, no, she's being sassy with that. Well, I'm sorry for being five minutes late there. Okay, fine. Well, yes, Headmaster. Oh, good. I'll see you then. Ty, you are dismissed. I would like a word with Tom for a moment before he leaves. Oh! Oh, 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 oh god! Oh, oh god, god, it's on now, guys! Oh, oh no, I screwed something up, didn't I? Well, damn, I'm starting to sound like Ty. Oh no! Uh, Ty gets up quickly and gives a quick bow before turning the heading for the door. The door closes with a, cl <laughs> with a click and a certain finality. Oh no! I, I hope I'm not about to find out why Ty fears the Headmaster Solomon so much. Oh my god, what are you gonna do to me? Uh, now, Tom, I, I know this is a lot to take in. I would imagine you're not uh, used to having a more personal relationship with the Headmaster, correct? A more personal relationship with the Headmaster? What does she mean about that, guys? Um. I nod, smiling audibly. Somehow, I, I keep eye contact. Oh god! Uh, I don't want to, you to feel pressured here. Uh, the focus at Starswell Academy is, and always will be, on learning. Uh, for almost e every student, that means picking classes that interest them and uh, investing time and efforts into the task given. Oh, okay. I'm sure Ty will attempt to get, get four or five specialties by me, despite my recommendations, because that's what works for her. <laughs> oh, friggin' Ty. Oh, that girl. We can't stop that girl. However, this is not an absolute truth. You may find extracurricular things interest you more than classes, and I urge you to pursue them. Wow, well, she's pretty understanding there. Um, she leans forward, laying a hand on my shoulder. I can feel tension leaving me at the touch, and her warm smile melts my panic away. Oh my goodness, guys, we got a new romance option coming right up there. Oh my goodness. The only thing I ask of you is to, that you do it with conviction and sincerity. Do not give less than you know what you can do. Oh, well, shit, I always give my 100%. Well, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, I think I can do that. My voice still shakes, though much less than I thought it would. I feel like in the daunting climb to find a purpose, I finally got a good hold on something. Oh yeah, he's got a hold on something, guys. Uh, wonderful. You, you can leave now. But remember, i always be here for anything you need. I won't judge you if you have anything to confess or rebuke if you have any problems you cannot have come on your own. Oh, Hemmas, she's so kind. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, so we're already back in the hall. All right, so I guess it's a good place to end it as any. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode here. You know, I had fun. We got to meet the freaking headmaster. Oh, she was good. Oh, yeah. Oh, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a like if you did, and I hope to see you beautiful sons of guns guys. You know you're beautiful. Oh, you're so beautiful. For the next exciting episode, so stay awesome.